my chums, I'm sitting down for a good freaking reason. I woke up this morning to 1,000 subscribers, chums. It's freaking amazing. I can't Adam and Eve it. Thank you guys out there so freaking much. You guys, you guys, all of you are freaking awesome. Thank you, viewers. Thank you, subscribers. Thank you, Patreons. Thank you, everyone. In fact, I've made a little montage. So let me go over here and let me fire this up. So here we go. Let me, let me, let me, let me hit this. Exo, please execute the thank you video. Thank you. Well, as you can see here, chums, I've hit the 1,000 subscriber mark, which is freaking awesome. So thank you very much again. And yeah, if I just scroll down here, you can see all of my Patreons just here. So yeah, a massive thank you for all you guys, for all your support. You know who you are. You're freaking awesome. So thanking you, thanking you very, very much. And yeah, on my channel wall here are a lot of other people that have helped me in many different ways, even if it's just watching their content every single day. It keeps this community fresh and interesting and brilliant. And the beauty of this wall is you can just hit the subscribe buttons under each of these different icons and I've even put them under different headers so you can see here for example these guys here they're really good for coordinates to find a new sort of uh, multi tools or ships or frigates or freighters or all sorts they're fantastic these guys awesome chill streamers yeah brilliant community if you hit subscribe to all of these then you're gonna have content to watch pretty much on a daily basis that's gonna be vast and interesting and fun and engaging so yeah Hop along to my channel, take a look, hit subscribe to all of those, and Bob's your uncle. Excellent! Eh? Okay, right, so yeah, I've got a few special thank yous to give, and yeah, I'm just moving on to that. Okay, so yeah, a lot of you came over from my old channel, so thank you very much if you did migrate over. And now for some special thank yous, so first one is to Ethan King, and you guys are like, what? Who's Ethan King? He does nothing in No Man's Sky. No, he doesn't. doesn't do anything No Man's Sky related, but he does help small channels like myself and others get started. He's very much focused on small channels, and he's got some great tips on how to make awesome thumbnails, how to draw attention, and how to get started. Because a lot of the other tipsters out there, they focus on the big guys that are already established. This guy is awesome. If you're a small content creator, go check him out if not. Okay, and then one of my next ones leading on to that was Hawks Gaming. So Hawks Gaming he gave me a loads of special sort of tips to get myself started focus more on no man's sky so what sort of tags to use to draw in no man's sky how to actually rank in google and i'd never forget hawks for the actual approach that he gave me i didn't even approach him he just came to me and said you know what you've got a fantastic channel steve and i want to see it do the best it can do and he's really helped me achieve that so a lot of the tips that i learned on my old channel i've employed on my new channel and it really has helped me get to where i am today so thank you hawks you are freaking awesome you've really helped me a great deal and I consider you to be a friend offline as well in real life and Jason plays he gave me a shout out about midway through my journey on my new channel to get into my thousand subs and I think I grew maybe by 120 subscribers in the space of 48 hours and that was thanks to Jason play so a big thank you Jason plays you're awesome and thank you for helping out the smaller channels out there you sir are a freaking legend and I love your work I love all your tips it, it's a great channel if you haven't checked him out check him out and then sword again I just spoke about smaller channels there sword is a champion of small channels he's always pushing them into the spotlight and helping them grow in fact he done a video just there for me just the other night to captain steve as a little promo video and that has helped me jump from the um well i was, I was about 15 away and i've jumped 15 subscribers overnight so thank you very much there sword awesome sterling uh, i will be talking about sword a bit later on because there's another video here uh, it says not so chill stream and yes there was a little bit of a kerfuffle on twitter which i feel i've gone and got myself mixed up in i don't know how i managed to do it chums but yeah i've managed to somehow so i just want to give my side of the story because right now my channel is getting blasted but anyway i'll get back to that in a sec procedural traveler again massive great big thank you mr pt for all the support you've shown me through the year you've been fantastic you've been a buddy of mine for some time and i'd like to say you're a friend in real life as well and yeah we've got some exciting news coming up in the near future me and procedural traveler which i'll talk about that towards the end of this video so please stay tuned to the end chums because it's um it's worthwhile <laughs> yeah this is it's a long video as a thank you video but i've got a lot to say in this one but yeah thank you very much pt um i'm enjoying the journey that we're having and yeah we're, we're very much along the same sort of wavelength for me and pt and yeah so thank you very much pt so now over to twitter now 
Okay, right, so this is the Twitter thread that's caused a little bit of controversy and a little bit of upset. But yeah, there's not that many comments in here. Now, this top area here says best streamers. Now, all the people that are in here in blue, I don't know whether they are the best streamers out there or where Mr. Black Suns Gaming got the list from or who to approach. I, don't, I think that's just a mailing list. You know, could you put this out to your uh, bases? Can you put this out to all your watchers? Get them involved. You know, drum up some interest. I don't think this needs to be the list of people that are the best streamers. I mean, it might have some of them in there. It might just be coincidence. But yeah, everybody was just sort of getting off to a good sort of feel on things. Just saying, yeah, vote for me. This is great. Thank you very much. Blah, blah, blah. I appreciate the vote, but I don't really stream, etc, etc. And then Sword said, look, uh, if you could just kindly take me out of this, that'd be great. I don't want to be part of it. And uh, yeah, he put apologies, Mr. Sword. All done and dusted, as far as I'm concerned there. And uh, MZK, I don't even stream. <laughs> fair enough. Uh, he didn't ask to be removed, but yeah, fair enough. But but um, yeah, then where the controversy comes from, I think, is this, um, well, I, first of all, I, I actually said I would have voted for Sword, but um, yeah, I've, I've gone for Law of Evolution, Procedural Traveller, and Mr. Doody Dude, because, you know, Sword has said he doesn't want to be in it, so uh, yeah, I'm not going to vote for somebody that doesn't want to be part of it, which is fine, which is fine. And anyway, so this is the actual comment itself. So there's this part here. It's kind of in two parts. There's not a full stop. There's a comma, but I reply to the thing that's before the comma. So the part that I'm replying to is this part about him saying that Stranger the Small Channel is covering all the big ones. And yeah, uh, I didn't comment on this bit because it's not aimed at me. And whether I agree with it or not doesn't matter because it's Legacy Zero's opinion. And you'd notice there, it doesn't say at sword either. It, it's just a broad sweeping, sweeping statement by LC. It's not really directed at somebody, but it's directed at maybe a few. And But it, it's not directed at me. So I didn't comment on that. What I'm commenting on, I put at LZ tweets, and I said, I hear you though. Um, it is a bit odd that a small content channel, or a smaller channel is covering the larger ones. But he's doing it because, you know... He has got this uh, speech issue, you know, he, he has difficulty. He tried doing interviews with the community and that didn't go too well. I have conversations with um, Black Suns, DM messages between me and him that are quite personal. And he's actually come to me and said, look, Steve, what do I do? My, my channel, I've tried all sorts. And I'm seeing that people are watching my videos from my analytics and not watching them even halfway through or to the end. And I'm actually losing traction. I'm actually losing subscribers. What do I do? And um, between, uh, he said, I've got this idea for a competition. I created him Atlas passes. I painted them. I shipped them. That's my own time, my own money um, and everything. And I sent them out to Black Suns. So, yeah, I'm supporting Black Suns. And I was just saying to LZ, look, he's trying to do something a little bit different to get his channel off the, off the ground. And, yeah, I, I can see where you're, you're coming from. He's a small channel covering bigger ones. Is there another agenda? I don't think there is. I honestly just think he's trying to cut his way into this community and make it something that's a bit different and trying to get some traction. That's all. Um, yeah, and Sword, Sword, I've watched your video, I've watched your live video, and you've said that people have called you a dick and they've called you a dickhead and all sorts of other stuff. I'm not seeing that in here. I don't think any of these messages at all were directed at you, Sword. Now, I know you're working long hours and I know you've got things going on. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know how you've interpreted my message as directed at you, but it wasn't. It wasn't directed at you at all. I was trying to defend Black Suns Gaming, and that's pretty much it. And I'm really hoping this clears any of the air. I know that I've spoken to you offline, and I know that you've supported me on countless occasions. And I would like to say that we're, you know, we're good friends. I would like to think we're friends. And um, I really do hope that this just puts a, a line under that and says, you know, I can see you're upset from your video and from your comment, and I don't want to upset anyone. Okay, there, chum. So, yeah, it wasn't just a uh, thank you video. No, there was a little bit more to it than that. But, yeah, hopefully that's cleared some bad air, and hopefully we can just move on. And, yeah, 1,000 subscribers. I know it's freaking mind-blowing. Yeah, that deserves a little celebratory dance. 1,000 subscribers. Yes. Ha-ha. <laughs> yes. Okay, enough of that. And, yeah, I've also got a um, base that I've gone and visited. It's a nice Christmassy one that I think would... Yeah, I think it's a nice thing to share with you guys. So I'm going to fire that one up as well. So, Exo, if you wouldn't mind, can you um, please fire up the base visit that we did? Thank you, chum. Engage. Howdy ho. Okay, right, so we're going to go visit this very festive, Christmassy-type Diplo base. So, yeah, let's uh, 
head on over here and let's interact with this uh, stone let's put in the actual code itself right okay right I've already got this one to hand Mr. XO so I don't really need much of your actual intervention on this one sir I already have this one memorized so yeah it's jellyfish jellyfish and I need a gem and I need a boat where's the boat there's the freaking boat and I need another jellyfish and a waypoint and another jellyfish and I need a beetle there you go beetle and I need a tiki face tiki 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 there he is and I need two eagles eagle eagle and a rocket in a pear tree there we go awesome oh done you see what I did there with the festive sort of jingle added at the end it doesn't work I mean who puts a rocket in a pear tree that's, that's, that's just freaking insane no one no, nobody nobody in their right freaking mind would put a rocket in a pear tree it just doesn't happen right anyway let's go let's go let's go let's go through the portal haha -ha! So I'm heading towards a Blazing Fire 777's base, which is the opposite side of that portal that I just came through. The portal brought me out on a, a, a sort of a desert type world. It looks like there's a few bases here to be had, chums. Now, from what I understand, this is a Diplo planet. So, yeah, it's probably going to have quite a few bases on here. But look, we're going to go to this one here. Now, I did actually accept a friend's invite from this person as well. So, yep, yeah, uh, this is the... Um, the base in question so let's fly down here now the actual base builder for this um, uh, i believe uh right i also done the turtle base that i went and visited some time ago um but i think that was on my old channel the channel that's now defunct and deleted so yeah let's head on down and let's take a quick look at this oh my days look at that it's a giant candy cane chums oh holidays are coming holidays are coming holidays are coming there you go you got me singing twice in one episode that doesn't happen often okay so let's head on down here i'm liking the red and white color schemes very festive oh this this is looking interesting i think there's something over there in the tree as well it's like a giant star but yep yeah, let's jump out let's have a quick look around this lovely lovely landscape and yeah there are giant diplos that frequent this planet which I'm, I'm gonna have to go and try and find one in a bit but yeah I'm here first and foremost to see the base so yeah let's have a look at that righty ho so this looks quite big let's go into camera mode quickly jumps and let's have a little butchers okay so it's even got a power grid so it actually has power which is cool I'm liking these candy canes that have been uh, placed together and uh, the lighting on them is nice We've got some more little candy canes here and then we've got the daddy of all candy canes there now that's taken some glitching to do that that's pretty darn gnarly that's not an easy bit of building to pull off that that's that's quite cool and i'm loving the lights the lights are pretty epic very nicely done let's go over there let's get a bit closer to this thing over here because it looks like a christmas tree but i um, can't be sure let's um let's go see there we go melee stage straight jump and let's uh, fly on over here awesome i'm liking these snow covered rocks that we're seeing everywhere oh look there's a uh, there's a giant beastie there it's not a diplo but i think i just saw a diplo come in from there's a diplo there's a diplo hello there diplo oh isn't he a magnificent specimen let's go into camera mode let's have a little look at the diplo since he's here yeah, there you go you just hog the limelight from this base my friend but the base is freaking awesome that's what i'm really here to see my friend but you are a magnificent beast i mean look at you you are beautiful i'm liking this diplo that is awesome okay right okay so this base is freaking awesome as well so let's have a look down here so oh look at this oh wow this is like a little christmas grotto made out of Christmas bush type tree things I'm liking this and yes there is a Christmassy star at the top oh look at this with all the light fishes that is really quite cool I like how you've made the tree I can see that you've put in like different stages to place the tree branches on to build your tree and that does look very festive indeed this is beautiful I don't think I've got any Christmas music to put in the background of this but this is lovely this has really helped bring a little bit of festive cheer my way thank you very much there blazing fire this is an amazing base and it's an amazing work of art it's beautiful fantastic i mean look at that that is awesome that is epic and i've even got a diplo in the shot as well uh, can i get the diplo and also the um the uh, big giant stick in the background i can indeed look at that for a planet chums now that's the place where santa wants to live heck yes that is awesome 
So there we are, chums. Isn't that fantastic? I, I really enjoy visiting this base, and I strongly suggest you guys out there come along as well. So this is in PlayStation 4, normal mode, Euclid, and yeah, well worth a visit. And uh, where's that Diplo gone? There he is. There he is. There's the guy. Let's just go stand next to him. Let's just see just how big he actually is. Hello, my friend. How are you? He is freaking huge. That is so cool. I love Diplos. They're by far my favourite creatures in No Man's Sky. Those and the little bipedal chaps that run around like little Ewoks. Awesome. Yeah, not so impressed with the giants, the crabs, but it's cool to have two megafaunas on the same planet. That is pretty darn sweet. What a lovely find. What a fantastic planet and what a fantastic base. And thank you very much for sharing this with me. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hey, chums. Well, I also have some news for you. I know I'm freaking spoiling you, aren't I? But then again... You guys out there have spoiled me with your kindness and your subscriptions and all sorts of other stuff. I know it's, it's freaking mental. Thank you very much for the 1,000 subscribers. I'm over the freaking moon. I am. I am over the freaking moon. It deserves an air grab. Let's do a thank you air grab. Thank you, guys. Yeah, so what I'm giving back to you guys now. Yeah, yeah. Come a little bit closer. Come a little closer. Go, come, come on. Over here. Over here. Cool, cool. Right, so, yeah, what I'm doing is me and uh, PT, so Procedural Traveler and I have been talking. And we feel that Friday nights, after everybody's had a little bit of a run through of the um, community weekend missions, that we would do a little featurette, a little thing together, a little live show to give you something to go into the weekend with, to, you know, help you all feel good for the weekend. It's going to be called the Friday Night Nexus Lounge. The Friday Night Le Nexus Lounge. And yeah, we're just going to be talking about things that are going on in the community, where we like to see No Man's Sky progress, what we thought of the uh, Quicksilver missions, and all sorts of other stuff. And we're going to open up on Discord, I believe, and have like guest visitors and speakers and all sorts of other stuff. So yeah, it's going to be a way to shine a light back out there into the community across all different sorts of areas of social networking. So yeah, hopefully you can join us for that. That's going to be Friday nights live GMT time around about 8pm to around 9.30pm. So about an hour to an hour and a half. It may even go on a little bit longer sometimes. Who knows? But there you go, guys. That's, that's what we've got planned. I mean, it, we're just going to trial it for a bit and see how it goes. Anyway, out there, all of you, a massive grubby thank you. You are fantastic. And without you guys, um, yeah, my show isn't anything. So thank you very much for all your support. And yeah, I hope to keep getting your support. That'd be freaking awesome. And I'll see you again soon. Take care for now. Goodbye from me and Exo. Goodbye. And yes, I have a Patreon. Hop on over to Patreon. There's a tier there for pretty much everyone, including ship models. And yes, thank you to all my Patreons that you can see here. Thank you, Patreons! And yes, I also have merch. Yeah, hop on over and grab yourself a funky mug or some awesome socks. And yeah, no, thank you very much for making the music for my videos, chum. You're awesome. And yeah, if you want to support me in another way, you can just do the normal stuff, which is hit the notification bell, a like, or a subscribe, or add a comment. Comments are freaking awesome. Yeah, and yeah, uh, or stay with me a bit longer. Watch a bit more Captain Steve and Exo. Bye-bye.